or places like that, you need to take cover very quickly. We have another storm that has formed in northern Nassau County, now making its way drifting towards Suffolk County. Widening the view, though, you can see that there's plenty more rain on the way. As this rain drifts our way, we're going to see temperatures cooling down drastically. So more rain will move in tonight. If you don't have the rain yet, you will overnight and through the day on Sunday, especially in the morning on Sunday. And of course, along with that rain, much cooler temperatures. We'll see some sun on Memorial Day. Good news in the forecast. This rain is no longer going to affect us through the day of Memorial Day. So we will get a dry end to this holiday weekend. Right now, 82 degrees in Danbury, Redding at 83. It's 84 in Stanford, only 77 in Fairfield because of that ocean influence. 77 also in Farmingdale, Islip at 76. And it's only 72 in Montauk. Compare that to 90. We still have in Morristown and Trenton right now. When you factor in the humidity, it feels even a touch hotter in some spots. It still feels like it's 89 degrees in Central Park and 86 in White Plains. Tonight, as the clouds quickly increase, we'll see the showers move in and some rumbles of thunder lingering through the overnight hours. It's a pretty profound change that we have here with tonight's low 64 degrees after reaching to about 90 degrees throughout most of the tri-state area. This is what your high temperatures are going to be in the afternoon. Much warmer inland. We're still looking at numbers near 80 degrees north and west, but only 66 for your high in Central Park, 67 in Belmar, Massapequa, and Bridgeport, 58 in Montauk. And it's because of that wind out of the northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, combining with the rain. The clouds also aren't going to do us any favors tomorrow. So here on Future Tracker, you can see that very heavy rain moving through early on Sunday morning. More showers overspreading the region by noon. And in the afternoon hours, the showers will start to diminish. And we will see some dry conditions moving in on Monday by the afternoon. We're also tracking the tropics for you. Tropical storm or subtropical storm Alberto is a, still a minimal storm with winds of only 40 miles per hour. It will make its way through the Gulf Coast and then eventually move in here in the exclusive 10-day forecast. We're going to see the effects of Alberto next weekend. But for this holiday weekend, Adam, look at that. On Monday, we're back to some sunshine and a high of 72. We could do a lot worse. Rainmaker, it doesn't have a lot of wind with it. We'll go into more detail about Alberto in just a moment. Right now, we're taking a live look with uh, Storm Tracker 4, the powerful and precise radar sweep. Right now, it's just showing a few light showers in Fairfield County and also in the Poconos. But as I widen the view, you'll see more substantial rain that's on the way. And this is what's heading toward us overnight into Sunday. It's along with the rain that we're going to see a shift in winds. And those are the two factors that are going to make our temperatures just go smashing downward during the overnight hours and tomorrow we're going to stay stuck in the 60s. It's going to be a huge change from the 90s that we had in parts of the tri-state today. More rain and storms moving in by morning. You'll see them on Future Tracker in just a moment. And then Sunday is much cooler and breezy but some good news for Memorial Day. For a while it was looking like the rain might hold on for Memorial Day. It's not going to be the case. Right now in Keyport, one of those areas that got a heavy thunderstorm earlier today, it's 76 degrees. 69 in Red Bank and it's 70 degrees right now in Howell. But uh, most of most of the rest of the tri-state didn't see any thunderstorms. Hey, we're just waking up to clouds, no more showers. Here is tropical, uh, subtropical storm Alberto again. It's expected to move straight to the north over the next uh, two days or so, and that's why it's such a big rainmaker for Florida. But by the time the remnants of Alberto make it here, that's all we're going to see. This is next weekend in the exclusive 10-day forecast. We're looking at just a few showers and high temperatures in the mid-70s. Once we clear out Sunday's messy weather, Memorial Day itself looks okay with a high of 72 and lots of sun returning in the afternoon. Some good news for your barbecue, Adam. Back to yeah, you. Yeah, it sounds good. You just need to learn how to grill.